Hello, and welcome to the Crane Worldwide Logistics News Podcast, Coffee with Crane. I'm Joseph Patrick. Well, there's a lot that you need to be aware of as we head into the week, so hang on for a great episode. And as always, stick around till the end for today's totally true transportation trivia tidbit to tease and tantalize your team with today. Now, on to the news. This past Friday, CBSA in Canada advised that CARM will launch internally on May 13th as the Public Service Alliance of Canada planned to vote on a strike which could possibly create delays. The CBSA has a contingency plan in case the vote to strike is approved, which is to reschedule the launch for trade partners to October of this year. So how does all of this affect you? Well, until October, just continue operating with your trade chain partners as you have while continuing to register on the CARM client portal. I urge you to be patient. This is a rather large program with significant implications, and deploying important programs, no matter the complexity, will always require some time to work out the bugs. At the end, I believe you'll agree the benefits will outweigh any temporary inconveniences. Canada will implement new accounting processes as slow paper-based system will be replaced with a much faster electronic solution. The CARM portal will be a game changer and will greatly ease your transactions within the country. And I know that there's a lot to keep up with already and changes keep coming. But lucky for you here at Crane, we've already developed unique solutions for Canada that will help make this easier for you. So simply go over to craneww.com and find Canada in our locations page. Once you're there, you'll find many assets that you can access to learn more about how to avoid any of these problems. Now, I wanted to get to the latest updates on the MSC Ares. Earlier this month, Iranian Special Forces seized the Portuguese flag cargo ship near the Strait of Hormuz. Iran's foreign ministry claimed that the ship was breaching maritime laws and had to be detained. The Iranian government has stated that the 25 crew members on board the seized vessel are working with authorities to help ensure their safety. The vessel's been directed into Iranian waters where its tracking system's been turned off, leaving much uncertainty about its fate and cargo on board. There's more that we've put together for you that you can find on our Knowledge Center page where you'll find industry insights and updates to help keep your freight moving the crane way. And this brings me to something I wanted to bring up with you in this episode, my friend. I don't know about you, but it seems to me that we're experiencing more incidents of global upheaval lately and When vessel owners incur expenses or losses to save a vessel or the rest of the cargo, not only the vessel owners, but also the cargo owners share proportionately in those expenses. But for example, let's say that a vessel must jettison cargo to help keep the vessel afloat. This is a process between the vessel owner and the cargo owners. And yes, my friends, I'm talking about general averaging, a concept based on long-held maritime tradition. It's governed by a set of guidelines known as the York-Antwerp rules. So what happens when the general average is declared? Well, an adjuster is chosen to help administrate the process. And as you can imagine, if anything unfortunate should befall a shipment, a lot of complex arguments would be made about who gets paid out what in the event of a mishap. Should a client not take part in general average, their cargo can be considered abandoned, which will result in the client having no financial recourse. My friend, one of the greatest features of having comprehensive cargo insurance is that it also covers the general average. So if your shipment has comprehensive insurance coverage included as part of a general average declaration, the insurance policy will cover the general average bond to have your cargo released. This frees your company from having to make any additional cash deposits. And I know comprehensive cargo coverage cackling conveys complication, but our teams at Crane Worldwide Logistics handle these problems routinely and with a sense of urgency. Do yourself a favor and go over to craneww.com and connect with our experts. And when you do, you'll see for yourself why our people, service, and tech set us apart from all the rest. Well, that's all the news I have, but I owe you today's totally true transportation trivia tidbit to tantalize. And today I wanted to introduce to you retired Rear Admiral Second Class Kristen Fabry, United States Navy Commander of the Department of Logistics Agency. I found a quote from this strong leader of logistics that reads, quote, The supply system is a science. And logistics is the art, unquote. I like what she said here because we know what quick creative solutions we all need to find in this industry. And I think that you'll agree with me when I reiterate that there really is an art and science to it. Well, that'll do it for this episode, my friends. So until next time, I'll have a hot cup waiting right here for you on the next episode of the Crane Worldwide Logistics News Podcast, Coffee with Crane. Goodbye now.